Hi and welcome to Inside UX UI. My name is Danny and this is finally my first tutorial video. Now there's a huge discussion going on on which prototyping tool to use, but this depends also on your task or your workflow. I personally like the approach of Adobe's experience design where you can do design and prototyping within one tool. Unfortunately, it will, may take another couple of months of development until it gets somewhere I could really consider to use it productively. But today I would like to use uh, Flinto for Mac to recreate the heart animation in the Twitter app. Whenever you like a tweet in Twitter, this nice micro interaction fires up and this effect can also be achieved in Flinto. So let's get started and just dive right in into Sketch. All right, so we're in Sketch now and I already laid out a couple of elements here, um, but we need to add a couple of more. Um, the first thing that we need is a second heart. Um, which is uh, red. So in the activated state, uh, we want to show this red heart. And for this, we change the, the colors. We go with a reddish color for the fill. Uh, we don't need a border here. Um, and the next thing is a little circle. And here, you just add a a bluish fill here um, and we put down the opacity to something like uh, maybe maybe like so and we also change the border color to something darker actually yeah and we need to um, to put up the the border thickness here we just rename this to something that we remember uh, let's say hello, and I also hide this layer so we can work properly here now because now we need um, two two rings with with uh, with circles and For this I would say we go with um, just a fill color and we say um, these circles are uh, three by three uh, pixels. And now we use this rotate copies tool here. So if, if in case you don't have this tool here, you just right click on the toolbar, say customize, and here you have it. So you just grab and uh, drag it out to your uh, toolbar here, and then you have it. Okay, so we use this tool. Uh, number of copies six, uh, that's fine. And now you have uh, seven, uh, seven circles here and the little handle. You can uh, grab this and just pull it out. Just let's say like so. Okay, we need to align this anyway later on. Um, for now, we just go go like. Uh, like this. We also need to rotate it a little bit, maybe like so. Okay. All right. So then our uh, next and last ring of circles, we make it a little bit bigger. Um, maybe we go with, with four, four by four pixels here. Make our copies, uh, drag it out. Here like so. And yeah, just as I said, we need to align it somehow. Um, actually, that's that's already fine like like this. Okay, what we should do now is um, to grab all these uh, circles here inside this folder and put it out. And uh, we should rename this also. So this is the uh, big circles 
and you just rename this like like this just just easy six seven okay and we'll do the same but also our uh, small small circles here I need to put that back and we don't have our big circles we have our small circles Uh, this takes some time, but it's worth it because we you will you will see later on when we animate this. Okay, so uh, what we could do now is um, now that we have these circles here, uh, you just could grab them and I like to color them. Uh, for this reason, I downloaded here the uh, Material Design color palette from Google. And I will color the first one just with, uh, with this pink, and the next one maybe with, uh, with purple, uh, the next with some uh, indigo, light blue, uh, maybe teal here. Some lime green. And the last one, maybe maybe here, something orange. Okay. All right. We're actually done now for the work in Sketch. Um, we will send this now to Flinto and animate this. Okay, so now we're in Flinto, and the first thing we want to do here is just highlight all our layers here, just without the gray heart layer here. And we put down the opacity down to zero. Now we also uh, will highlight this uh, gray heart, uh, gray heart uh, layer here and click on the behavior button. This brings us to the uh, to our animation or behavior designer here. Okay, so here we have our states. This is uh, just uh, the initial states state, and we need another one. And we may say this is our uh, big state here. Uh, now the first thing we want to do is actually uh, to bring up our halo. We put up the opacity again and also the radius to 100. And then we just increase our the size here. Just like so. Um, now, next thing is we put down the opacity of the fill all, all the way to uh, zero. And we also put down the, um, the border thickness to zero. Okay, so we end up with something like this. Okay, so we highlight the big state again, and now it's time to show up uh, our heart. And we also put up the opacity of our heart, and we increase also the size here a little bit, just like so. Okay, now uh, it's time for our uh, two circles here, or two rings of, of circles. So we highlight the small ones and put up the opacity and also the border radius, and we just scale it up like so. Okay, and we'll do the same with uh, our big circles. 100% and radius also 100%. Now, uh, here's a little thing. Um, you can see here that when we increase the size of uh, our ring here, we will also increase the size of every individual uh, circle here. The easy thing you can do is to um, pull it out and then you could say uh, we just highlight
just uh, click on the lock here and say maybe uh, oh, maybe that's a little bit too too small maybe four no we'll go with five here okay and then I would also suggest to highlight our uh, big circles here and we'll say these are just double uh, 10 by 10 pixels. All right. Now we add another state here, and this is our final state. All right. In this state, we will, the first thing is we just um, take our, um, our big circles here, just one after another. And we just, our mouse, to drag them further away from the small circles, just like so. OK. Um, now, at this point, we also want to um, hide them again. So we put down the opacity to zero and we do the same with the small ones. Just like so. Okay. Um, now at this point we also want to um, hide them again. So we put down the opacity to zero and we do the same with the small ones. Now we could take a look and see what we actually have here and it's looking good for me uh, so we can go go on and add the, the interactions. So in this initial state we highlight our gray heart and add a, a gesture here. I would say a tap gesture and we say go to the big state. And from the big state, uh, we don't have a gesture anymore, but a timer link. And we say, uh, after one milliseconds, go to the final state. And when we're in the final state, we could say, uh, if we tap again on it, we go back to the initial state. Because if you suddenly don't like the image anymore, uh, you tap again on it and then it goes back into this uh, gray, gray heart style. So we could also uh, rename this and say, uh, this is our heart animation, and save and exit. Okay, now we could uh, take a look at it and preview this and see how it looks. Yeah, I think it's already working. It's a nice little effect here. Uh, what we certainly could also do is uh, to go back to the behavior designer and maybe just click on this heart and we could just change here the settings. We could uh, go up with the friction, maybe a little lower tension here and maybe also changing the velocity. Just just small little improvements and changements here. Preview it again. Yeah, so you can do a lot of things here uh, by changing just a little uh, values, just to uh, add a little more delay or the spring. Uh, there's a lot of uh, things you can do here. What you also could do is, of course, duplicate this animation and put it on every other place here, just like, um, just like so. so. You just drag it out here by clicking Alt and just duplicate it and preview, preview this again. Uh, now you have it also here and it's also working there. Okay, so that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, let me know if you got any comments or questions uh, down below and I will also put the uh, resource files uh, down in the description so you can download all this stuff and um, yeah, 
I hope to get back to you really soon. Bye.